today I'll be showing you a Thai Vietnamese dish. It's called Mien Kham. We use wild pepper leaves and you use this as a base and you put a whole load of condiments in, wrap it up in a little parcel and eat it. And wild pepper leaves are grown as ground cover all over Singapore. So it's very easy to get if you wanted to grow it. I got interested in foraging because we decided to create a, a project showcasing edibles. And we asked the question, what's edible on the streets of Singapore? So after that experience, you know, I couldn't look at plants in the same way again. So I, I started trying to grow some of them. This is my backyard garden, where it starts. So what I have here is a plant called Brexia Vio. It's very good for cancer. Um, and then I have some uh, rose apple, some star fruit going on there, papayas. This is what we call costas. It's a roadside plant. You can see them you know, everywhere, orchard road, anywhere. And uh, they have these orange bits that come out from the side, like little bits like flowers and you, it's edible it tastes a bit like green apple this is a wild pepper plant this is the star of our dish today and um, it is a roadside plant you can see them as ground cover they use that to cover because we have clay soil so it, it protects the layer of soil from impacting the plants I think uh -huh. this one is the one that's really interesting. What's, what's that? This is called Cupid's Brush. You can use the flowers as a garnishing for mm -hmm. salads, and then the leaves can be used as a medicinal tea. Wow. Talking about medicinal teas, there's this plant which is called Shatterstone. Mm. Uh, this is very good for um, breaking up the kidney stones. Okay. Right? So you can brew a tea with the leaves, and then you can drink it, and that becomes a, a purging kind of uh, medicinal tea. We've got one very cute one that's hiding. This wow. is called gunpowder plant. If you're into salads, you can eat this. Oh, wow. Right? This one is a fantastic kind of like a lettuce substitute. Nice. Right? nice. Let's go down and take a look. I think I saw one more further okay. down. Yeah. So this is the one that I like. It's very pretty. Yeah. This is called Pepper. peperomia. Yes. Yeah, peperomia is the same family as the pepper plant. Right, so it's very antioxidant, very antiseptic and antibacterial. It's wonderful for like the whole immune system. So what tips do you have for foraging? So I think the main thing is to be responsible, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you forage from you don't forage from parks and reserves. Yeah. And then after that, the other thing is to take care of your own safety, right? Yeah. To uh, make sure that you wash them well and always forage for someone that is knowledgeable in the plant so you don't pick the wrong plants, yeah. right? Today, I'll be showing you a Thai Vietnamese dish. It's called Mien Kham. So how do we do it? So wild pepper leaf. Okay. And then, I know you like chilies. Oh, so I'm yes. going to give you more chilies. More. Okay, and then the lime. lime. Lemongrass. Lemon grass. So it's just a pinch of everything, right? Yeah, just, just a, a pinch. Ginger. You like ginger? Yeah. Green mango. Green mango. Grated coconut. Yeah. And then peanut. There you go. And then the sauce. Okay, so it's got tamarind uh, juice in it, mm -hmm. gula melaka salt, right. and got some of the coconut and the shallots, and uh, some lime juice. There you go. You make it into a little parcel. Okay. Like that. I got a lot in mind. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. Mm -hmm. Foraging is important to me because it, I feel it grounds me. It connects me to my surroundings. And when I just walk around and I can recognize something, then it has a story. Mm -hmm. 